Hey guys, have you been seeing those cool baseball edits all over Etsy, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, where they have the pictures of the shirts that said like baseball mom and then they have a picture of their, their child or the person they're supporting in the middle? Well today I'm going to teach you how to make that using Canva Pro. It's quick, it's easy, and it's a great way to make extra money on the fly. I'm Casey Belcher and I'm here to help you today. You is how to um, retake a design that you wanted with like a photo on it with Canva Pro and turn it into something that you could sell to others. Um, right now, the baseball ones are really uh, hot with photos of their kids on it. So we're going to look at those and what we can do. Um, so Canva Pro advantage is first of all, first off is you can make it the size that you want to make it so that it's a printable image. So I always start myself um, with a presentation. So you want to go to a create a presentation. And this is the next step. You can only do this with Canva Pro. And Canva Pro is not that expensive per monthly based on what you can actually make from using it. So in Canva Pro, I'm going to resize this to inches. And then I want to make it like a 15 by 15 because a 15 by 15, you're not going to make a shirt that's bigger than that. Okay. It's just not most of them be between 11.5 or 12, but you're not going to make anything over that. So now I'm going to resize my box. So it's now 15.15. So when I work in it, things are going to be correct. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to upload a, one of your photos. All right. So these are a couple that I found online. So you're going to upload it. You're just going to push upload. You're going to find your photo. Like I had some graduation ones in here. Um, you're going to push open and then it's going to load into this area over here. All right. So you want that. The next thing you want to do is you want to upload some kind of designs all right so you could make it yourself if you want or you can go to etsy or design bundles so let me go to design bundles so once i'm in design bundles and i seen i have you know some kids on there that are baseball design so let me find a baseball mom and so here's all of these designs right here now I will tell you that I'm a member of Design Bundles, so I pay a monthly fee, and in return, I get a whole bunch of free designs. So if I go on here and it says it says plus membership, see I have $182 in credits. You get like almost you get so many a month free, it's ridiculous. So if I hit on this plus button, these are the ones that I can download for free. So let's say I like um let's see just pick an easy one that i could like let's pick this loud and proud baseball mom where did it go this one right here so i'm going to add it to my account confirm it and download it because it's part of my subscription so i'm going to just download save it to my desktop all right so now that i have that design i'm going to go back to my canva that i was working on I can get there and I'm going to upload that design. So now it's open. Now, the good thing about design bundles that I like is almost all the designs are always going to be um, at the correct size. They're not, it's not like Etsy where you have a bunch of people uploading whatever. These designers are screened. So it actually is a really good deal. So I'm going to take mine and I'm going to make it that big. Okay. And maybe just a little bit bigger. Because remember, you can always go down on a design, but you can't go up. So look at it's not pixelated, it's really nice. So then I'm going to say I have this picture of this kid right here. Um, of course, you're gonna have somebody else's picture or your own kid, whatever you have, okay? But you're like, oh, that looks awful. It's got that background. Here's what you have to do next. You want to go up to edit image background remover and then it's going to remove it where it is perfect for this kid now look at that right there who wouldn't want 
the picture of their kid like that. Is that sellable? Absolutely. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save the PNG. So you're going to go share, download, transparent background PNG, and then you're going to download it. Once it's there, we're going to save as to our desktop, and it gets better from here. Now I want you to go up to home. I want you to go to social media. And then I want you to find Facebook posts. We're going to make a mock. So if you type in shirt mocks, there's going to be a bunch, or you can buy some from Design Bundles or Etsy and upload them, and that's what I've done. So I'm going to, let's see, which one? First of all, let's upload his picture so we can look again. So we got upload. This is the picture that I've made with the little boy. So he's got some white and some gray and this needs to be a lighter color. So let's find a mock that's like, um, maybe like this light blue. Let's see what this looks like. If it doesn't work, it's okay. We can change it. So then you just take this, you go back to your uploads, and here's what this would look like on this shirt. All right, so there's that one. Maybe the shirt needs to be lighter, um, and that's fine. You know, that's the good thing about this is you could kind of play around and see what's going on with it. Uh, what color do I want? I'm going to do this color. I love this color. And mine's named so I know. So if I hit this, it's going to tell me this is Heather Galapagos. So that's the awesome thing about this. You can do that as well. And now I'm going to put this one on here. And then I have a custom mock to show my customer what I'm making. All right. Again, you could put any picture you want in there. That is up to you. Um, there's softball. There's all kinds of things. And then to share this, again, I just want to go up here and download. I don't want a transparent background on it, all right, because I want to use this as my model. So then I'm just going to download, and then I would go to my Facebook or wherever I sell at, and then I would share this example. All right, now the good thing for you is it's not going to be a bunch of work on your end because, hold on, I've already made it that. It's not going to be... See, I like to just type random stuff in sometimes. <laughs> All right, so the good thing for you is it's not going to be, um, you know, hard for you to remake this, okay? Because all you have to do now to remake it, let's go back home. And once we're home, It's right here, already there. So all you have to do now is go and change out the little player. So all I would do is just take him away, go back up to my uploads. I uh, got this other kid right here. Again, make it bigger. Remove the background. And there again, I have a template ready to make these shirts. And that's all, the, that's all you do. And again, because... People are wanting, you know, pictures of their kids. I accidentally did that twice. You now have a, an item that's higher the profit. And then you're also, because you saved it as a clear PNG, all you do is now send that file to me or to your printer, however you have things printed, and you're good to go. All right, guys, if you have any more questions about Canva Pro and using images, um, let me know and I, I can go in further depth on this in another class, okay? Have a good afternoon or morning or whatever you're doing. Just make sure you keep working um, to grow your business.